everybody comes in here, the first words they mention is, wow, look at this. for about 800 years. It's called the War House because it originally stored wool that's getting shipped over to Italy mainly, I think, at the time. Since then and now, it's been numerous things. The first ever seaplane was built downstairs. When we were fighting Napoleon, it was a French prison. We used to lock up the French here. And before that, we were fighting the Spanish, and it was a Spanish prison. Uh, Spitfire parts were assembled during the war. Then it was a maritime museum and it's been empty since 2011. As you know, now it's a brewery and a bar and a restaurant. It started at the Platform Tavern. I've had the Platform Tavern pub just two blocks down, uh, just over 18 years now. Six years ago, I employed Aidan Lavin as a, a bar manager. And during that, the next couple of years, he was asking me about brewing and he wanted to start up a brewery. It was a drunken meeting between my husband and the brewer down at the platform. Well, me and Stu started the dance in our brewery at the platform tavern. Uh, we didn't have anything, we didn't have a brewery, we didn't have any equipment, so we made Stu put up the idea that Stu would put the money out to buy the equipment if we could go and make some beer. Aidan's always dreamed of being a brewer and wanted to brew beer. He became very quirky, microbreweries at the time, they were popping up everywhere, and it's worth giving it a go. It made us different. Brewing our own beer and selling our own beer over the bar, which is something I really wanted to do. It turned out he was an amazing brewer. He never failed. I started brewing there a few years ago and uh, needed to expand, so it's grown from there. Well, we opened officially on the 27th of February this year, 2015. We had a lot of hassle in the three years to open up. We had a lot of like, a lot of the press was on our side, but a lot of people thought it was a bit involved or something to turn this into a pub as they called it. But we knew that we were doing something good for Southampton and good for the area. This building was empty for three years when it closed as a maritime museum. I think the council were scratching their heads about what to do with the place. When I went to them originally in January 2012 and said about turning it into an open plan brewery, bar and restaurant, they were, they were like, well, what a great idea. And uh, they packed us all the way. Since we've opened, we've probably had more people in here over the last six, seven, eight months than six, seven years as a maritime museum, so I'm pretty sure we're doing something right. They're going to start regenerating all of the Mayflower Park area, the pier area. Uh, the businesses around have all reported an increase in trade. We started off expecting to employ 12, maybe 13 people, plus us three. And within three weeks, that went up to 30 people. Within a month, that went up to 40 people. <laughs> and most of them are young, I'd say. 90% of them are between the ages of 20 and 30. I didn't realise how hard it would be working with somebody and living with somebody. To be honest, that has been the biggest challenge. And our management styles are very, very different. I've got a corporate background. He's an old hippie. So it's, um, it's a work in progress. <laughs> See, I wouldn't have gone into such... I mean, this, this whole endeavour has... has been very difficult, very stressful, and very rewarding. I don't think I could have possibly been into something like that with people I wasn't confident enough to work with. It's <laughs> just there. <laughs> <laughs> Originally, I was going to be the salesperson because that's what I'm trained for, uh, but we can't brew enough beer to sell out. When we started the brewery down at the Platform Tavern, we had a lot of inquiries about if we could supply people without beer. We were starting to win lots of competitions for our beer. So when we looked into expand, we decided on a six barrel plant, and we thought, right, half of that was sell over the bar here, and the rest we could sell to the free trade. It turned out it was all selling over the bar here and down the Platform Tavern, and we still haven't got enough to sell to the free trade. So at the moment, I'm looking up all the events the weddings, parties and sort of day-to-day -day running of the building. Aidan obviously is a, a brewer. In a three-year build-up to opening here, obviously I was very much involved with the business plan. Building the business up, basically what I do now, I sort of skip between the two businesses. I'm like, I am the dancing man. Mm -hmm. 